Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I have a really sweet shaker card featuring a gorgeous background stamp by Picket Fence Studios called You Were Mermaid for Me. This under the sea scenery is perfect for a summertime card. The shaker is going to be a full A2 size, so I'm starting off with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that measures four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And I'm using my largest life-changing blender brush to apply Distress Oxide inks, tumbled glass, speckled egg, and peacock feathers. The large size of this blender brush makes short work of this background and literally it's done in just a few minutes. I start at the base of my panel with my darkest blue and work upwards towards the lightest tone. The scenery was stamped in my Misty using Picket Fence Studios Intense Black Ink. I used the sticky mat insert by Sweet Petunia so that I could lift the entire thing right out of my Misty. When I'm finished coloring, I'm going to pop it right back in and restamp it and everything will be perfectly aligned. This scene is Copic colored. Depending on the size of the image that I'm coloring, I'll use two to three markers to create a gradient. Most of the images are small and so they're quick to color. If you're interested in any of the color combinations that I've used, I'll have those listed in my blog at bonniecarolee.com. When coloring the foreground to prevent getting ink on my sticky mat, I took some copy paper and just slipped it under the panel under that portion that I was coloring. And with the coloring complete, I'm going to take the sticky mat and put it right back in my Misty. The stamp was left in position on my Misty door after stamping it the first time. When I stamp it again with the black ink, the stamp will be aligned to the image on the panel. I'm coating the panel with clear embossing powder. Before I apply the heat, I make sure that my heat tool has reached its maximum temperature, and then it is applied to both the back and the front of the panel to help minimize warping. The clear embossing really intensifies the black and adds a little bit of shine to make those images pop. I'm using a coordinating die to cut this image out. The scenery is going to be sitting on top of my shaker panel. I'm going to color in that white edging with the blue that more or less goes along with the ink that was used in the water background to help blend it in and make it look more cohesive. I want to emboss some images onto the window of the shaker, so I'm using heat-resistant acetate. The background is placed in my Misty so that I can get my sentiment positioned over the ocean, and then in goes the heat-resistant acetate. It is stamped with Versamark ink, and then it's going to be coated with white embossing powder. This set also comes with a stamp to create waves that fits right across a landscape-oriented A2 size card. After each stamping, I'm applying the embossing powder and melting it before I go on to the next one. After I stamp the waves on either side of the sentiment, I only need to stamp it one more time below it, and that will fill the window that will be exposed on the shaker. To add just a little bit more texture, I sparingly sprinkle on some embossing powder on top of the panel. Heat is applied to the underside just until it starts to melt, then I can finish it off by applying the heat at the top. I also add texture to the Copic colored panel by using watered down gouache and a fan brush to apply some fine spatter. A frame is created for the foreground and the window to be adhered to. This panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock is A2 size and the perimeter has been inked up with the same colors used in the background. A rectangular die will cut out the center creating a frame foreground is adhered to the front of the frame and the window to the back of it. 
foam is cut into strips to place around the frame and the foreground. I like to place the foam right up against the card's edge so that it has a nice clean look. The shaker material for this card is from a beautiful sequin plus mix called Under the Sea. I'm going to use my Misty to get the background panel aligned to the front of the shaker. The foam insert has been removed. The card front is now sitting lower than the sides of the Misty. All the backing paper is removed. The card front will be pushed into the upper right hand corner. After making sure that the panel is oriented correctly, it is pushed up against the top edge of the Misty, fitting it snugly into the corner and then it is laid down flat. The independent shaker is then adhered to an A2 size card base. Although I've referred to this as a summertime card, this would also be perfect in the winter. Isn't that when we need the beach the most? I hope you enjoyed this video with this fun shaker featuring Picket Fence Studios, You Were Mermaid For Me. Thank you for stopping by and as always, I appreciate your visit.